Hello, welcome. Uh, I want to show you some uh, developments that I'm making with Haldor Ulvarsson for this project called Dorma, which is a sequel to my works Horma, which use uh, many uh, string instruments of different types and sizes. Uh, <clears throat> and the problem with those works is uh, in uh, live performance, it's really hard to match the dynamics of the instruments and the different kinds of attacks because the studio recordings of the Horma works were really um, very processed. Lots of working with the uh, equalization and the dynamics in order to get the right shape, to have the different sonorities fit together and yet be varied which was the original intention, of course. <clears throat> However, uh, my idea was that for this uh, new series of pieces called Dorkma, which I'm working on with Haldor or Dori, uh, is, um, the idea is to use something much, much simpler, much more compact, uh, and the variety shouldn't be too much in, the, in this live performance. It, it, uh, there's going to be a variety no matter what, so what we're more focusing on is the standardization. So, uh, to make the everything modular so it's easy to put things together. So we uh, started out with this, uh, after our first meeting, Dori made this prototype with me and we... Uh, uh, I've been fascinated, and he also apparently, with uh, tin cans, you can say, I mean probably sounds kind of tinny, but I, I like it. I, I think it's especially good for... Uh, you can hear the different... different registers. So I think this size of a can is really suitable for this here register. And even the... I think it sings really well over here. So the idea with this is to have it as a harp. It's just uh, three plucked strings that are tuned into specific just-in-toned pitches. And the reason for this construction is it's really it would be really convenient to make a lot of them. And we're using the side, you know, this is the strong part of the instrument. This is where it is carrying all the tension of the strings. It's much easier to construct something that way, and this is just the most efficient way of, of creating a, a body, a resonator, and uh, strings to come across. So, given that all the instruments are going to be different types of this, they're going to, uh, I think they will go quite well together, and the difference between just different individuals plucking these instruments, and maybe different kinds of plectrums, and, and etc., I think this will create something yeah, more more des desirable, something closer to what I had in mind, because uh, just having people play lots of acoustic guitars uh, will, will be varied enough, you know, even too varied, because you have the different models and you have uh, people pick in, in a, you know, with different strengths and so on. So I think that the standardization will, will create the right sort of uh, palette and... and, and uh, um, yeah, the only problem with this so far, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this as for this register and we're planning on having three sizes. I would have one uh, bigger one or it could be this size but with a bigger can and then a slightly smaller one for this register. We're trying to figure out like the, um, the tension, like how, how big it needs to be to keep the tension because the most important thing is that we can construct a thing like this that will keep the tuning and we would have to make it you know at least one week before performance uh, that's kind of the minimum amount of time that it could take to have the string settle in you know with all kinds of wooden string instruments even with this kind of wood you they need to kind of um, settle in a bit and it's funny because I don't know if Dori knew about it, but I had worked on another instrument with uh, 
Kjartan Áskjörsson, the brother of, of Áki Áskjörsson, the composer. We, this is a version of the Icelandic longspin that has this uh, uh, fretboard in, in, in with these just intonation pitches and so on. Uh, but ori originally it had a it had a had a bridge and a pickup, electric pickup, so it's completely like an electric guitar, uh, you know, in sound, not really, but you know, and but we decided to, or I decided to make an acoustic version where uh, the bridge is a tin can that's also a resonator, so you have the string going through a tin can and also resonating in it, and I think with this. This is a slightly bigger can, and I think I think it has a you know better resonance in in the higher no I mean in the deeper registers, and because it's basically the same idea, I mean this is much more you know this is much more efficient because there's a bridge and it's made out of hardwood and and it carries the sounds really well down into the can, while this. Uh, just takes the string through the the can, <laughs> which is problematic because it always pulls. It's hard to keep the tuning and and also the level of the bridge because eventually the the tension of the string is going to lower itself. So it's a very uh, uh, it's a very very homemade, very amateur production. But this is something that's actually. Um, quite efficient and I think we can work with. I, th I and we're just thinking about the shape is just to have whatever is most convenient to sit with like this. For me this is really convenient. For uh, Dori it proved to be a little a uh, uh, little too short here. But this is basically what we're thinking now. I think we're gonna go back make try out the different sizes, um, different strings, different screws and yes and one point that I'm trying to figure out I want to have some kind of dampening because I want people to uh, be able to pluck and this this you know little resonance or, or the note dies out almost right away but still have a have a this volume um, yeah and, and maybe you would just have some cloth out here but whatever it will be it has to, has to be something very uh, very simple I think that's the that's the best way to do it, I think, for for the ideas we have in mind. Of a, we're thinking of a group of twelve, three different sizes, uh, four uh, instruments in each size. Yeah, that's the idea right now.